Hello my friends, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. This is Randy from Ranch Graphics. Please support my channel by hitting subscribe, especially for those friends who newly visited my channel. Press like. If you have questions or concerns about this video, just let me know in the comment section below and I invite you guys to share this video. Okay, so now I will show you what we are gonna be creating today. We are now inside After Effects, so all I have to do is to create a new composition and I will name it BG or Background. 120 by 1080p, 30 frames per second and the duration is 15 seconds, click OK. Zoom it in, go to Layer, create a new solid. And I will change the color on the solid, I will type the code 52 3 times. Click OK. Go to effects and preset, go to noise and grain, fractal noise. Change the contrast here to 174. Open transform, change the scale here to 271. And I will change the opacity here to 20%. And the blending mode, multiply. Then I will go to composition and create a new composition. Name it logo placeholder. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p thirty frames per second and fifteen seconds duration. Click OK. I will go to my project panel, open it up, open this folder assets. I will drop down this logo into the timeline. Press this on the keyboard for the scale. Scale it down to twenty two percent. Enable title action save. Highlight this logo layer. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Drag it up. I think that should be good enough. All I have to do is to go to my text tool and type company. I'm using Century Gothic Bone and the size of the font is 180. I will just drag it down somewhere here. Then I will align it horizontally center. Then again go to the text tool and type tagline. I'm still using Century Gothic Bold, but the font size, I will change this to 50. Then I will drag it down just below the company. I highlight this tagline and I will align it horizontally. Then go to Composition, create a new composition. I will name it Logo Fill. 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second and 15 seconds duration. Click OK. Take this logo placeholder, drop it down to the timeline. Go to effects and preset, go to generate, add fill. Change the color here to white, then click OK. Go to composition, create a new composition. I will name it titanium logo animation. I will change the width here to 2600. And the height, I will change this to 1500. The frame rate is the same, 15 seconds duration, click OK. I will drop down this BG into the timeline. Then press S on my keyboard for the scale. I will scale it up to 260%. Toggle switches mode in here, enable 3D layer. Press P for the position. I will change the X position here to 1776.5. The Y position, I will change this to 368.4. The Z position, I will change this to 513.3. Then the X rotation, I will change this to negative 64. 
go back again to project panel and drop down this logo field into the timeline just above the background enable the 3d layer go to layer go to layer styles and add inner shadow go again to layer and go to layer styles add bevel and emboss open inner shadow change the blending mode to normal enable use global light angle is 1 by 8 degrees you might be wondering why i'm encoding these figures it is because that I want this tutorial to be the same with our introductory video on what we are gonna be making today so I want that animation to be the same with my tutorial okay distance 3 size 4 then open bevel and emboss change the style here to outer bevel the depth is 119 size is 1 the angle is 236 degrees Then open transform, change the Y position here to 557.1 And then the Z position, change this to 107.9 Scale, change this to 68 Then the X rotation, change this to negative 64 just go back here it should be 557.1 go to project panel and drop down this color guide into the timeline move it up on the upper left corner of your canvas highlight the logo fill again go to effects and preset go to color correction and add tint change the map white too by taking this color picker and choose this color i will highlight the logo fill again and press my keyboard ctrl d to duplicate it and change the map white by taking this color picker and choose this color I'm gonna highlight these two layers change the blending mode here to overlay then I will highlight this color guide and delete it then go to layer create a new light I'm using parallel light at 263 intensity click ok then I will go to edit and split the layer I will choose this side of the layer and delete it then open the parallel light open transform and change the point of interest here to 1598.4 the y value change this to 537.9 then the z value change this to 153.9 go to the position and change the x position value to 2286.7 then the y value change this to 314.6 the z value change it to 442.5 Go to layer and create a new light I'm still using parallel light at 263 intensity Click OK and I will go to edit Split the layer I will choose this side of the layer and delete it Highlight this parallel light 3 and rename it parallel light 2 Then I will open the transform Change the value of your point of interest to 1598.4 The Y value on your point of interest change it to 537.9 Z value change this to 153.9 Go to the position and change the value on your position to 1013.3 The Y value change this to 390 Z value change this to 418.4 then create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch on the position then move forward your playhead to about 6 seconds and 4 frames duration change on the X value position to 1511.7 go to the Y value and change this to 354.9 Go to the Z value and change this to 439.5 Then go to edit and split the layer I will choose this side of the layer and delete it I will then go to layer and create another new light And I'm using this spotlight at 233 intensity Cone angle is 134 Click OK Then I will go to edit split the layer 
I will choose this side of the layer and delete it. I will highlight the spotlight and right click my mouse to rename it. I will just name it spotlight 1. Then open transform. I will change the point of interest to 1294.9. Then the Y value on the point of interest, I will change this to 566.6. Go to the Z value and change this to 96. Go to the position and change the X value on your position to 994.4. Go to the Y value and change this to negative 34.3. Go to the Z value and change this to 425.7. Create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch on the position. Move the player forward to the 10 seconds duration. Change the X value on your position to 1643.3. Now go to layer and create a new light again. And I'm using ambient light at 13% intensity. Then click OK. Then go to layer, create a new camera. I'm using a custom camera. I will enable the depth of field. Change the focus distance here to 123.47. The aperture, I will change this to 14.11. The f-stop is 1.8 and the blur level will change this to 80. Click OK. I will move back my plate to the 2 seconds and 12 frames duration. Go to edit and split the layer. I will choose this side of the layer and delete it. Move back my plate to the beginning of the timeline. Expand this camera one. Open transform. Change the point of interest on the X value to 1860.9. The Y value change this to 1094.9. Then the Z value change this to 1355.1. Go to the position and change the X value here to 881. The Y value change the figure here to 448.4. Then the Z value change this to negative 189.3. Then create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch on the position. Then move forward your blade to the 2 seconds and 12 frames duration. And change the position on the X value here to 1012.2. .2. On the Y axis change this to 454.1. And on the Z value Change this to negative 176. Then again I will go to layer and create a new camera. I'm still using custom camera but I will change the focus distance here to 153.11. Then the aperture I'll change this to 17.64. And the blur level I will change this to 100. Then I will click OK. I will go to edit and split the layer. Choose this side of the layer and delete it. Then highlight this camera 3. Right click your mouse and rename it as camera 2. Expand this camera 2. Go to transform. Change the point of interest on the X value to about 1044.9. Go to the Y value and change this to 1069.6. Go to the Z value and change this to 1153.3. Go to the position and change this value to 1686. Then go to the Y value, change this to 371.1. Then the Z value changes this to negative 190.4. Click this stopwatch on the position to create a keyframe. Move forward your blade to the 6 seconds and 4 frames duration. Then change the X value on the position to 1512.5. The Y value changes to 416.8. Then the Z value changes to negative 269.3. Change the Z rotation here to 21 degrees. Go to edit and split the layer. I will choose this side of the layer and delete it. Then I will go to layer and create a new camera for the third time. Disable depth of field and click OK. I will go to edit and split the layer. I will choose this side of the layer and delete it. I will highlight this camera for right click my mouse, rename it and I will name it camera 3. 
then expand this layer go to transform change the value on the point of interest i will first go on the x value and change this to 1280 the y value i will change this to 1608.3 then the z value i will change this to 632.6 .6. then go to the position and change x value on your position to 1288 and the y value change this to negative 54.9 go to the z value and change this to negative 214.8 change the z rotation here to negative 23 now i will hit the stopwatch on the point of interest position and z rotation then move forward my playhead to 7 seconds i will change the y value on the point of interest to 801.1 .1. and on the z value i change this to 221.3 and i will go to position i will change the y value on the position to negative 992.2 go to the z position and change this to negative 692.4 then change the z rotation here to zero then move forward your playhead to 10 seconds and two frames duration then change the y value on your point of interest to 671 and on the z value i'll change this to 155 i think i mess up i will just create a keyframe by hitting this tiny icon then i will go back on this position go to the z value and change this to negative 626.6 then the y value i will change this to negative 863 and then i will highlight these four keyframes and press f9 to easy easy then go to layer create a new adjustment layer go to effects and preset go to blur and sharpen i will just add sharpen and i will change the sharpen amount here to six then again go to layer and create a new solid rename this to transition make it come size click ok move my playhead 2 seconds and 12 frames duration press t on your keyboard for the opacity then i will create a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch move back my playhead to about 1 second and 25 frames create a keyframe here by changing this opacity value to 0 then move forward the playhead to about 2 seconds and 25 frames and change the opacity again to 0 move forward your blade to 6 seconds and 4 frames duration change the opacity value here to 100 move forward your blade to about 6 seconds and 25 frames duration and change the opacity to 0 move back your blade to the 5 seconds and 15 frames duration create a keyframe by changing this opacity to 0 go to your project panel and drop down this sound effects into the timeline then move back your playhead to the beginning of your timeline and let's preview this guys our tutorial is done hope that you like this video and helps you in your quest for improving your skills related to design and creativity don't forget to like comment if you have some issues concerning on this video if you are new on this channel, be sure to subscribe, press the notification bell so that you will get alerts if I have new videos to upload. And my thoughts for today guys is that if you will enjoy greatness in learning, make it a passion. Thank you guys for watching and see you on my next video. God bless.